If you missed the Space Shuttle Discovery crossing the sky last night, it was amazing. It looked like a big, bright dot moving too fast to be a star. That was about 9.40 last night. News in Austin's Ali Rasmus finds out why local astronomers say tonight's experience could be even better. This was an email I received. Uh, Torvald Hessel gets dozens of emails a day asking about the Austin Planetarium. Just received five minutes ago a, a job application for someone who wants to work at the planetarium. But no one can work at the Austin Planetarium or even visit for one simple reason. There is no planetarium. Hessel says that makes Austin the largest city in the U.S. without one. Corpus Christi, El Paso, there are 12 planetariums in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. One nonprofit group wants Austin to be next. Friends of the Austin Planetarium was formed three years ago to bring a planetarium to our city. It just seems kind of wrong that we don't have one. Laura Aikens helps run one of UT's two observatories. She says there's plenty of interest to make a planetarium here successful. When Mars was at its close approach in 2003, we had literally thousands of people come through. We stayed open until about 2 in the morning. Local astronomers love these high-powered telescopes, but Hessel says Austin's still missing out on something valuable. Even if it's dark here, then we have so much light pollution that you cannot see that much. And most kids these days grow up without seeing the night skies. The nonprofit group has done some fundraising. The next step, find a place for a planetarium. Some possibilities downtown. In the meantime, astronomers can stick to the telescopes and study up on the stars before they can see them indoors. Allie Rasmus, News 8 Austin. For more information on Friends of the Austin Planetarium, you can visit their website. It's austinplanetarium.org. UT's two observatories are open three nights a week. For visiting hours and more information, you can call them at 471 50